Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Roast Active Directory machine from CyberSec Labs. So this machine is rated uh, difficulty of 9 out of 10, which is currently the hardest machine on their website. And I'm going to show you the solution today. So a lot of people don't really know where to get started with Active Directory. Um, so a good place to start is with, uh, for example, Hectrix, which is a collection of uh, cheat sheets that might be helpful. And this gives a lot of information that I really suggest you check out in your free time. Um, for the case of this video, uh, so currently we want to do rec recon, we have no threats or sessions and it suggests us a lot of things we can do. And one of them is enumerate LDAP. So that's what we're going to do. Paste that command in with the IP and run that. So this is going to run this script uh, on LDAP and maybe we can find something. And that has finished. And we see that we found a domain name, roast.csl. We found a user, David Smith, with a description that says his password, welcome to roast. So uh, let's see if that password works on SMB or WinRM by running crack, crack map exec. So we're going to enter the IP, the user D Smith, and that says it right here sam account name d smith and the password is going to be welcome to uh, roast so let's run that let's run that and check back here so then we also have a user cody Rhodes, who doesn't have a description um but his sam account name is cr Hodes, or c Rhodes, and then we have steve smith which is s smith so let's uh, make a user's file so we had s smith d smith and cody wrote okay and we had a valid login here uh let's add dash dash shares so we can see the shares uh and in the meanwhile let's also run uh, crack mark exec crap map exec to see if he can log into WinRM. Okay, so we have access to the IPC, net logon, and sysfall share. Now all of these aren't aren't really that uh, that impressive to look at or, or so or, so that's something that you might want to do if, if you don't find anything else, but uh, we're gonna leave it uh, for now and keep on enumerating. So okay we can't log in uh, using WinRM but maybe Maybe we can try to use this password on other on other users. So we just made a users file. So let's see if, if this is a valid login on any other user. And oh, we see for D Smith that oh, that works, which is expected. Um, let's quickly remove him from our user file or put him at the end. Uh, you can also there's also a flag. On crack map exec to continue when it's found something but in the current version that i'm running that's broken so sadly i can't use that but we see that we have a login as cr hosts or cody roads uh, we can also look at the shares here maybe he has access to a new share and in the meanwhile we can also see if he has access to winrm so cody roads okay so down here it doesn't look like he has access to a new share which is fine um, so let's see if this scan uh, gives, gives us anything. And yes, he has access to WinRM and it's pawned, pawned so that means that we can uh, uh, log into his account. So let's do just that. We're gonna do evil WinRM dash I for our IP 3132. The user is C and the password is welcome to roast and there we go we are currently c roads let's see if he has any files here so we're going to do a dir of dot dot dash recurse uh it seems like there's charpound already uploaded under documents which is probably from another user but we are going to do this all over again so let's go to our c drive Make it a directory files, and in here we're gonna upload uh, my local file, my local sharp hound, which is in uh, slash opt. 
slash bloodhound slash ingesters slash sharphound.exe. So this is going to upload. Now I'm uploading with Evil WinRM, but there's many different ways to upload stuff. Um, so if we go back here to our hack tricks, we have some basic PowerShell for pen testers. You can see here to download and execute, you have a lot of commands. You can use all of these to download. So there's lots of different ways. Uh, and, and this is really my kind of golden book that I use whenever I'm in need of, of new IDs or anything. In the meanwhile, this file is almost downloaded so we can start running sharphound. And if you don't know, sharphound is an ingester file for bloodhound. So what sharphound is going to do, it's going to query a lot of information from uh, Active Directory and it's going to create a zip which we can download and open in Bloodhound um, to uh, w which Bloodhound uses a graphing a, um, a graphing database to um, map like relations between different Active Directory objects uh, which uh, we will take a look at now. So we've just downloaded the file and we have Bloodhound open here and if we just drag the file into Bloodhound it's going to start processing. We can see there's seven users, one computer, 53 groups, a whole lot of ACLs and, and stuff. And then here we have some pre-built queries that we can use. Um, so for example, we can list all curb roastable accounts. We notice, we notice, hey, roast service is curb roastable. We can then say, okay, shortest path to domain admin from owned principal. Okay, we don't have an owned principal. Uh, no, but shortest path to domain admins from curb roastable users. We can say, oh, roast service has generic right over domain admins. Now you can say help. Uh, and generic right is generic right access grants you the ability to write to any non-protected attribute, including the members of a group. So what is the abuse here? Well, we can add ourselves to the domain admins group. So we know this user is curb roastable and once we get this user, we can become domain admin. So let's try to get to that user. So for that, we have to curb roast him. Now there's a very useful uh, script here from Impacket. Uh, so we're gonna do request from the IP. And then we have to specify the target. So this is the domain. Then we have the user. And then we have the output file hashes dot Kerberos. So what this is going to try to do, it's going to Kerberos uh, this user. Uh, but first we all, uh, no, it's going to Kerberos any user it can find. Uh, but we're logging in as Cody Rhodes and we need to enter his password, which is welcome to roast which I typed incorrectly welcome to roast and there we go it uh, was able to roast uh, roast service so now if we do an ls we have this hash hashes.kerberos so now we can do uh, john so john dash dash word list equals user share word lists and we're gonna run rock you against this and now we have hashes.kerberoast. So we're cracking this hash. Now uh, let's uh, take a look at what this hash looks like. So we have a few of that. So we can see this is a uh, Kerberos TGS file with, of type 23. And type 23 is, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, MD4. So that's hashing. Uh, that's uh, cracking and it's already finished. And the password is... Um, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, watermelon, two, four, five. So now let's see if we can, uh, if we can log in as this user with the, with these new credentials. So we're going to do evil with a rem again, specify the IP. The user is going to be roast service and the password this. Now I'm using single quotes because that way I don't have to escape these exclama exclamation points. And we have access to Rust service. And we earlier identified that we have generic right over domain admins. So what we can do now is we can say netgroup 
domain admins, row service, and we want to add ourselves to that group. And that's completed successfully. And now we are uh, domain admins. So now we can do stuff like uh, we could try to, um, to dump uh, all credentials that are currently in use. Uh, so for that, we're going to upload Mimikatz real quickly. Uh, and how could you find this? Well, if you go back to our cheat sheets, if you scroll all the way down and say right here, it says dumping domain credentials. Once you get domain admin privileges, you can dump the domain database. So we can do a, with Mimikatz, we can do an LSA dump uh, and get credentials that way. Okay, so now we have added ourselves to the domain admins group. I've also uploaded Mimikatz. So now we can run uh, mimikatz.exe. We can say, um, first we want to give ourselves privileges. Then we can do an LSA dump. Uh, I think that's the command. And then we want to do slash patch. And then at the end we want to exit. So if we run that, we see that we dump uh, all the credentials from all the users. And we see we have the administrator hash here. So we can copy the administrator hash, exit from here, and say user administrator and then log in with the hash and enter the hash. And that's how we get access to administrator. So that was this machine. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty straightforward Active Directory machine, but very good to cover your basics. So if you weren't able to solve it, I'd say take a look at what you missed. Take a look at the, this, uh, this cheat sheets. Read up about these and make sure you are comfortable with using all of this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you back in another one.